Just want to do a quick video. 23 Bronco Sport Heritage Limited. Um, I got these imitation Raptor grill lights off eBay. It was $8.99 plus tax when I bought them in September or November of 22. Um, I was following this video to pull off the whole grill um, when I realized I didn't have to do all that. You just got to get this piece off. And to do that, there's six seven millimeter bolts that run along the top here. And there's two 10 millimeter bolts right here, if you can kind of see in relation to the others. And then there's two push tabs that you pull out here. And that's just so this part will move enough that you can slide this out. And that's all I needed to do. And the kit, ah, let me see if I can still show you. I need some more light. There's just a power and ground wire. Um, it does have some really nice weatherproof connectors. Um, so here's the wire. It has the power and ground through here. I use this bolt as the ground um, right there. It's a 13 millimeter. And then you also pull out this 10 millimeter so you can pull up the plastic, see what you're doing. And I know it's not the best. Um, usually I have these little U-clips that crimp onto the wire that I slide under bolts. I just twisted the wire around the bolt because I didn't have any. Um, and since my car was like this, I couldn't drive anywhere. And then what I did for the power is I used, I copied the, um, there's like lights that add marker and turn lights right here. And they get their power from this um, brown and small, there's a big brown stripe and a small blue stripe on it for, to the headlights. <laughs> I've never done this before. <clears throat> I don't like these little um, crimp on attachments to get power. So I added some super glue around it. I think at first I was thinking I could make it waterproof and then I just wanted to make sure the clip doesn't come loose so it doesn't lose the power connection. Um, and I only had to do that on one headlight that nothing was done to the other headlight. And then I just ran the wire back. There's a little um, hole that it slides back through there into here if you can kind of see where that's going. And it has these four nice little all weather connections and then you just slide these through here now one note that no one will probably want to do but i did on these all weather connections where's one that i can look at there's a tab right here i ground that off so when i slid it through these grill slots it didn't scrape up the grill um it seems to still have good positive retention but some people might not want to do that, but that's what I did. And then I just used zip ties to zip tie it around here. And I did these four, um, so it's all even. It seemed to look good. Now, you can't, there's no hole on this one, so I had to go through the bottom on these and then the top on these. Yeah, I thought the marker was white. I was trying to make it so you couldn't really see the zip ties, but it was actually silver. So I'm gonna have to find some white out or something. I haven't used white out in years. So I'll figure out something to paint those white until I get them actually bolted in. But I think they look pretty good, especially when you don't notice the zip ties. And I've literally only been working on this for about two hours, all in one go. And there's what they look like. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and, and that's it, just a power ground and then getting the wires through there they just plug in real easy for that part and that's it